Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. getting into whoa what is wrong with this thing is my battery dying i need to go swap batteries i'll be right back all right cool cool we back with 100 percent so today we're about to be going to the body shop and we're about to be transforming the look of the c5 corvette aka the frc so today we're going to be getting the wide body on here uh, my new track spec vent, uh, hood vents that we're gonna be throwing those on. Those are currently in the trunk right now. But after today, this thing's gonna look pretty fucking aggressive. Hopefully, I can keep my my side skirt little mud flap thing things that go up. Maybe I might have to possibly trim them or something. But yeah, today is the day we get this thing looking like something. Also, my new seats arrived. Here, them things go right here. Look, we got the freaking big turbo for the Fox body. And we got the new Big Dad Vortec right here. This is the Y side. That's going to be going on the C6. So, yeah, we got, uh, you know what I'm saying, two more 1,000 horsepower capable power adders going on some cars. But, uh, yeah, man, let me uh, grab the stuff that we need, make sure I got everything. And then we're going to be heading out to transform the look of this thing. And today is finally going to be Mike Mike approved, man. You know what I'm saying? The wide body and all that stuff. Then I'm going to go get my wheels, you for me. I'm going to be out here with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, one thing I will say about this is this thing has insanely good gas mileage. I filled up this car once since I've owned it. And I've actually been driving it around a lot. Look, right now we're at half a tank. And I've been on missions in this thing. All right, so we're just pulling up here to Sheldy's house. I trust Sheldy more than I trust Jay when it comes to mountain and trimming and making everything super clean. So. That's why I'm having Sheldy do the install. I think Sheldy is a lot more meticulous and more of a perfectionist. When did you get this? Huh? When did you get this? Uh, I picked this up probably like a week ago. Bro, it seems pretty low. I'm surprised you got in here. Hey, ain't too bad. When you're parked right there, like the, the dip in the road, that, this was literally all the ground. It was literally sitting on the floor. I'm like, uh. I'm gonna probably raise it up a little bit. Uh. Probably tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Is it on coils or just bolts? Nah, it's on coilovers. Come on, man. Come on now. Don't be rude, sir. This thing's cool. I don't really like C5 stuff. Ooh. It matched up pretty good. Yeah, red's hard too. That shit matched up good. Man, look at that big ass run though. Where? <laughs> Whatever, it's on the inside. Look at these things, man. They came out pretty clean. When I first got these, I sent them to Jay. They were boofed as hell. So he had to uh, the skim coat, got rid of all the pinholes and stuff in it. It's not bad. I kind of had him do this in like a little bit less than 24, about 24 hours is about the time he had to do these. So I can't be too picky on it. For a 24 hour job, literally for how much he had to do, these turned out pretty good. They were hella whooped before. All right, getting ready to go up. So we're gonna be doing the front fit or the rear fenders first. And then we got the track spec vents right here. I know some of y'all are like, why you shouldn't use your old hood? Well, these vents are actually a little bit different than the ones that I had on my old setup. The bigger, this is their like biggest vent option right here. Is that weird that I call you over and have you like mount my shit versus my body guy? People, a few people have asked me like, hey, why do you, like, Mike's got his body guy, why do you do it? I was like, I don't know, I just do what I'm told to do. <laughs> There's been a lot of people that have messaged me that. Yeah. All right, getting the last couple bolts out of here. So one thing that we do know that's different from the hatch is you can't get to the bolts in here because fixed roof coupe. 
So I guess on the FRCs and Z06s, I uh, looked at a video, it says that these are slotted, so can't really get to the bolts in here, you just gotta, ah! Shody, Shody was trying to figure out how to take the roof off, I'm like, bro, they said pull, so we pull. It's about to happen too. They say pull, we pull. Oh, what the oh, fuck? It was loose. It came off hella easy. Bro, you were all worried, bro. I was. I didn't want to fuck this shit up. You were worried for nothing. That was really easy, actually. I just down no, 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 no. Can't sell them on Facebook Market like that. <laughs> and like always, since we're going to be flush boys, we're going to have to cut out that little lip that y'all see right there. Even the stock fenders don't have that lip. So on the new over fenders, I had the antenna hole shaved. So Shody's gonna get creative and just mount it somewhere in there. Ain't like we listen to the factory radio anyway. She got Apple Play. There we go. She's mounted. A little test fit. Back's pretty cool. I mean, obviously the front's gotta go in, so that'll line up. Yeah, this has gotta get trimmed quite a bit. Yeah, because it's already hitting the the down bar. Right there. Mm. Okay. Get a little mark on that. Just hold that there so it don't fall off. Dude, that thing matches hella good. I know, right? Bro, I'm kind of tripping on that red. It's hard to do like that too. Look at that precision, baby. Not yet. My man go millimeter by millimeter with the cutting. So I think I'm gonna mount this center one first right here. Cause basically I like the I like the gapage right here. That's factory, like factory width is that side. So I'll mount this right here, that'll secure that this section. And then this kind of dips down a little. We'll just have to pull this out. And there's a little room in the bumper to to give that gap back. It's crazy that the, they don't give you much room. To mount? If you, if you look down right there, like the hole is like right on the edge of that. Hmm. But if you go in more, then it, it'll make the gaps like touch Too tight. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at him using the factory mount. No zip ties? You like that shit? No zip ties, Lil Zeddy? Come on, man. <laughs> no self taps? No zip. Shimmed out a little. Man, you look like you know what you're doing, bruh. Kinda. Kinda, sorta. You learn how to paint, it's gonna be over. Right? Everyone's gonna be worried about what to do. So I just pull out a tab. <clears throat> Looks pretty good though, like match, match that gap right there. Up in the front right here. Yeah. This. Even factory gapping, it's all, it's narrow here and it gets wide right there. 100% is what this car is needed right here. Hella wider. And it's not like wider in the sense of like, ah, oh, you added a flare, it looks ugly. Like it's really what this car needs. Like this just makes it perfect. Wow, the precision. Just the precision. Bruh, check this out. Y'all gotta see this. Now, whether Shody's going to do this quality of excellentness on your car, you know what I'm saying? I can't say, but he's showing off today. He's showing off. This looks Man, fucking when, when flawless. Do not, when do I not show off? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He, he's showing off today because of vlog on. Vlog always on. Look at that. 
that is crispy this is the only little screw that we had to add on here just so it didn't look funky because it was popping out but here you want me to show you what it looks like <laughs> on the, it's, on in there. that thing be popping out like a titty at mardi gras that's like it's honestly not that bad that's just ugly as fuck look. all better bro look at that cut <laughs> slice and diced look Mm. All that's left is the rear. Mount the rear on and it's officially wide, fellas. Alright, so one of my hold on, damn. I got a little dust on here. <laughs> Alright, so one of my big concerns was would this carbon fiber canard piece work? And it looks like it is. It actually looks really good. Like it still falls. Woof! Look at that. Look at him! Dialed. Alright, now he's getting that last piece cut. This is gonna give us that hot boy flushness right here. Damn, bruh. This nigga mounted this shit like A1 perfecto. Looked like it was a stock body car. All right, here it is, one more look. This side is completely done now. Fender liner, everything back on. This looks so fucking good, bro. I already put the wheel spacers on. This isn't the tire size I'm gonna be running, so it might be a smudge, smudge sunken in, but once the new tires and wheels come in, fitment's gonna be A1 perfect. If I was to put the, uh, the tires on here, it would actually sit exactly how the new wheels would sit, but I think when I get home later today, I'm going to try the wheels that I already have that are specced out for the wide body kit. I just don't want to do silver on, on red. I want to do black on red. So uh, I'll try them out, make sure the, the offset and everything's correct, and then I'll go from there. But this side definitely looks a lot better than this side over here. It's like once you see the wide body on these, it's like ah, you just you can't go back to the the factory narrow body. It's just just don't look right make it kind of look like a camaro or some shit like an f body all right second side going on man my man shorty look at this shorty Ooh. free dog all right just finished up the last side you can see sun is shifting boy it's an all day thing it's looking looking good Whoa. You about to sneeze? I was. Something about this air over here. Neither one of us have allergies, but we're sneezing like shit. <clears throat> and I live here. <laughs> so it's it's hood vent time. We got the track spec vents right here. Shuddy's over here trying to eyeball it. You stupid <laughs> Really Look at like this. I'm lining down the yeah. scope. <laughs> I am, bro. I'm looking down like that. No, I um. I don't like finding center on this. Feel good about that? Mm -mm. I do. Gonna send it. I think it's good. It's crooked as fuck. You can't see? Nah, fuck it. It's gonna look straight going by at 150 miles an hour. Yeah, so if it is crooked, we don't care. <laughs> Pop your hood. There ain't nothing underneath you, is there? <laughs> I was just gonna say, hold on, quick. Cut through the fuel line. Hold on, let me cut the tape. At least I get to keep my light. Bro, it actually works, too. Who would have thought? Yeah, we should probably pull that off first, huh? Or we just cut it, put the vents on there, and keep this. You wanna do that? No. Okay, I
all right we got the home stretch of this thing it's got a rivet down the last center vent all right there it is I need to this bitch. let's push it push man you didn't broke it when doing that before uh oh i was pushing in the wrong spot all right what's good what's good with y'all man i'm just now getting home Bro, I am really impressed by the gas mileage on this car. I can't believe I'm still riding on the same tank. Like I just got home after driving an hour there and an hour back, and I still got probably about an eighth of a tank left, which is crazy. Almost, I got to a point where I was like, no way, the gas gauge gotta be broke, this can't be right. Almost stopped to get gas. That's how good the gas mileage on this car is. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna thug it out. And just got home. A little more than the eighth of the between an eighth and a quarter of a tank but insane bruh insane look check that out insane still the same one tank since i got the car and i've been driving this thing around a lot but yeah we are here let's turn this thing off about to go inside i'm gonna do one last little walk around real quick but this thing's pretty sick man i'm i'm really liking it for how good the gas mileage is, like almost like, uh, I need to just leave this thing stock. But I know I can't do that. All right, here y'all go. One last look. Man, this thing is coming out amazing. So next thing on my list is hopefully sometime this week, I will be figuring out what wheels I'm gonna get and order those things up. But God, man, this is looking so good. This is what I want to do to my original C5, man. Wide body, red, FRC style, or Z06 style, whatever you want to go by. It just looks so good. I thought about doing a diffuser, but I'm not going to do the diffuser on here. I kind of like having the uh, open air vents, and it's actually functional. Like, Chevy designed this. That way, when air hits the back of that, it still has a way, like, somewhere to go versus turning into a big-ass parachute and slowing the car down. So I'm going uh, to leave that open, maybe possibly wrap in between it or plasti dip it or something. I don't know. Got to figure that out. But tomorrow we're going to be installing uh, probably all the new lights and the Corbo seats that are sitting right there. But yeah, man, it's looking it's looking good. It's coming, coming out and going smooth how I want it to. So I do have a motor for this thing, but we'll talk about that uh, some other time. <laughs> Anywho, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm about to be wrapping this up. I ain't ate nothing all day. Been at Sheldy's. So, uh, big shout out to my boy Sheldy for, for knocking that out for me. You guys know I have a body guy, but, you know, Sheldy's the king at fucking slicing and dice and getting them body lines right. You know, you got to delegate the jobs to the people that are equipped for, for knocking them out the best. And Sheldy's A1 with the, with the lining up stuff. Jay's A1 with the body work and painting. These things needed a lot of body work and Jay knocked it out in 24 hours for me and got it painted. Uh, when, I when I took them to him, bro, they were, they were pretty hurt. Uh, pits in them, just bad finish, but Jay got them things uh, knocked out and painted. So uh, everybody played their part, man. Much love to Shelly. Big thanks to my boy Jay. But we're gonna wrap this up, man. Until next time, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are digging to see Fizzle, but we out. <laughs> I'm about to do 80, fuck the niggas hating on I'm gonna come up, you can go to speak, but it's better